It's 2024 and both sexes are fed up with the dating market. Both of them feel that the dating market is trash. And that's not even just people who are considered regular. Your people on the high end feel that way too. Just ask Tia Maori. But of course, in a dark world, there is always a shining light. There are some people who will have it their way, even if everybody else is struggling. Like for an example, have you ever taken a math class or a physics class or a chemistry class and everybody is like averaging like 40% on the exam? And there's that one student who breaks the curb who gets like 99% every time. Because even in the dark world, there's always a shining light. And when it comes to all of those ladies who are struggling in dating, there's always somebody who's not. And that person is Lori Harvey. From Michael B. Jordan to P. Diddy allegedly, the future to Meek Mill, to anybody in between, Lori Harvey is having it her way at all times. Anybody she wants, she gets. And as soon as she dumps one guy, another guy comes down the block. And this has inspired so many young black women around the world who want to be just like her. And you will hear it in this video here. Why Lori Harvey is the prize. I feel like Lori Harvey is an it girl. She is someone who is highly desired by men. And I think that she emulates prize energy in her frequency and vibration, not only by the way that she looks, because I feel like there's so many different beautiful women in the world, but they aren't always emulating that prize energy because they are male identified. And so they tend to give their power away to men because they feel like they have to kind of submit to men in order to get that full commitment. But in actuality, it's the exact opposite. A man must devote himself to you and compete to win you over because as a prize woman, there isn't a lot of you to go around. You are exclusive. And prize women, they have no problem with leaving situations that aren't serving her. And I think that a lot of people had negative opinions of Lori Harvey, stating that she's for the streets or that she's a woman who was passed around in the entertainment industry. But I think that Lori Harvey was moving strategically in her dating life and she was roster dating. To roster date means to keep your options open with different suitors and to be receptive of what they have to offer to you without feeling a sense of receiver's guilt because as a prize woman you're not a woman who feels guilty for receiving things and keeping your options open it doesn't mean that you're having sexual intercourse with all of the men on your roster a man must court you a man must make an effort to impress you and win you over and older women who grew up in a different time or even question it themselves like you have this particular woman out here who doesn't understand why is Lori Harvey considered for the streets Okay, so I need you all to help me understand exactly why Lori Harvey is for the streets. I get it that she just had a breakup. I get it that it was pretty public. I get it that it was Michael B. Jordan. However, the messages that women receive, dating women, 20 year old women, myself as a 40 plus year old woman, the message that we are being told is date everyone. May the best man win. So as a 25 year old woman, I, I want her to date everyone. I want her to have those experiences and learn about who she is before she becomes a wife and a mother. So if y'all could help me out, like drop me a comment and let me know because the coach I am and the woman I am, I don't know that I see a problem. So maybe somebody can help me out. Drop me a comment below and uh, thanks for hanging out. See you on my channel and on the next video. Bye. And that's what you're hearing from women right now. Better ball, better. Better, better. Date, date openly, be a free agent, leave situations that don't serve you, and yes, you heard it, that don't serve you, until you find the one for you. And that is exactly what Lori Harvey has just done. And according to the news clips out here, Damson Idris is the latest victim. It wasn't but just a few months ago that allegedly she dumped him, but they came out, took a picture, went to an event together, and it was still on. But now Media Takeout is reporting something else, that Damson Idris and Lori Harvey are no longer an item. They did some revelations and found out why. But guys, let's see if you can figure it out. But guys, how did they find out? Well, let's play a game of Negro Air, shall we? What about A, found out through her publicist? B, found out through O'Shea Duke Jackson? C, Instagram? R D, 
none of the above. Jeopardy music! And the answer is C, Instagram. Give yourself a round of applause if you got that right. Well, the reason why they know that Lori Harvey and Damson Idris are no longer together, well, Instagram did the trick for them. They went and they looked at Damson Idris' account and they saw, hmm, he's following zero. Now that's interesting. When you're following zero, guess what? You're following zero. So can I get a dun, dun, dun sound effect? Well, if he's following nobody, that means not even Lori Harvey. Well, maybe he made a mistake. So, Jeopardy music! Well, we went over to Lori Harvey and looked at her profile. Give me some typing sound effects, Dima. And we typed in Damson. <laughs> She's not following his ass either. Can I get a, oh my God, sound effect. Oh my God. Yep, they are no longer together. And of course, young women around are like, sad music, girl, that's so great. Girl, you got options, girl. And she has options for now. Rewind, Nemo. I mean, remember there's Tia Maori who had some options before when she married Corey Hardrick. And even when she married Corey Hardrick, she didn't have all the options because Corey Hardrick at that time was broke. But not to fear, they got married, he became somebody, and she still graduated from marriage. Now she's in her 40s and she's complaining about how trash the dating market is. And guess who can't find a date now? Tia Maori. And this is what young women don't understand is that right now you're young, and one day you won't be so young and then you'll be old if God gives you that ability to be old. And it's the same thing for men. You're young, then you're middle age, then you're old. And in those times, there are certain things you need to do to still be in the game. Just like Drake or P. Diddy, you can still be in the game. You just gotta adjust to what the game is giving you. But Lori Harvey is a woman that relies extremely on her looks as to get the kind of guys you want. And even in 10 years, if she looks the same, the problem is there'll be other women who look even better or even the same. And guys like Damson Idris, who probably are tripping over her right now, won't even be thinking about her 10 years from now. And that's what we've seen with the decline of Amber Rose. We've seen it with the decline of Delicious and a lot of other models who still look fairly well. And it's not like they're not ugly, they're beautiful. The problem is just been so many different other women coming into the scene into the market. There are women who were like not even born or who were kids when Amber Rose might have been coming out on the scene. And in the next, you know, five to 10 years, those women are now 22, 23, 24, whatever the age, and they're competing for the same guys that, you know, you have right now. And so the question is, where is Lori Harvey gonna be when she's 40? I can guarantee you she won't be having access to the same guys as much as she does now. And it doesn't mean that she won't still be beautiful and gorgeous. But the point I'm making is there'll be other ladies on the scene around the same guy's age, things will change. And the way she's getting treated right now won't be the same way she's getting treated in the future. Like Lala Anthony was really on, 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 on demand back in the day, but once she dumped Carmelo Anthony, she found this out. Here's how it goes. Because <laughs> this is what I'm finding. I don't understand this. This is how it goes. Okay. When you're younger, you want to date older guys. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying when you get older, you want to date younger guys. But when you get older, only younger guys want to date you. It's the wildest thing. Literally, guys will DM me or want to take me out. And I'll Google them. I'll be like, you're 22 years old. Like, what? How? how like how does this work but like so confident so like i want to take you out i i, I think you're amazing I, and i'm just like when's what's the cutoff like i don't know the cutoff i'm just saying what is the cutoff no, it's a real but, thing but okay but we got to go back okay. we'll get to that next. But, yeah because we do have but to i don't get that. what this thing yeah. is like 
No, it's a real thing. The older you get, the younger the guys get, and it's wild. But ladies, I guess you can rejoice for now. As long as you know that when the looks start declining or when other people come into the market, you have something else to offer just in your good looks and connections. You'll also have to be very nice. You have to be very kind and very feminine. If you don't give men those options, well, they'll just go to somebody else who has those options more than you. And you are competing for some of the best guys in the world if you want somebody rich. So they don't have to be black or white. They could be any race, any creed, from any place, any ancestral origin. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. It's another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. We're out.